Good evening to all my friends that are out there this evening. It is Wednesday night and it is 630. And that means that it is story time. I have a, I promised the other day that I would have um, a story about some princesses. So this is a, uh, a cute little story. It's not a long story, but it's a cute little story. And it's called Princess in Training. It's by Tammy Saucer. And the pictures are by Joe Berger. And this is a fun little story. Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer was not only an was not an ordinary princess. She spent her time karate chopping, hi-ya, diving into the moat, splash, and skateboarding up and down the drawbridge. Zip, zip, zoom! Definitely not your normal princess. <clears throat> The kingdom was beside itself. She's supposed to be prim, said the king. She's supposed to be proper, said the queen. Then one day, Viola received a letter. Dear Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer, do you want to polish your princess skills? Camp Princess will teach you to wave, walk, and waltz just like royalty should. The day concludes with a royal bash and roll now so you can be the dazzling, the darling of your kingdom. Sincerely, Director of Camp Princess, Madam Gertrude. Viola grinned. Me, the darling of the kingdom? She, she whooshed off to the Camp Princess to try. There's the king and the queen, and there's that amazing letter from Madam Gertrude. And look, she wants to be a real princess. Welcome to Prince to Camp Princess, ladies, said Madame Gertrude. Let's begin with the royal wave. The princesses worked on good posture, practiced proper elbow placement, and added the customary turn of the wrist. Princess Viola's wave was nice but she thought it could use some oomph. Can you imagine? I always told people that I did that wave. Fun stuff. Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer called her teacher. Royalty does not karate chop. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Stella. Hi, Jade. Whoops. I guess she didn't do it very, do a very nice wave. Oops, Viola ducked behind the sea of updos. Our next lesson, said Madame Gertrude, is the frills of fashion. The princesses tried on gowns, chose just the right accessories, and learned how to walk with flair. Princess Viola was perfectly lovely, but she was roasting under all that taffeta. Splash! Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer called her teacher. Royalty does not dive. Sorry, Viola emptied her purse. Poor Viola. And now, said Madame Gertrude, dance lessons. The princesses waltzed in circles and lines and all around the room. Princess Viola was determined to dazzle, but... Look at the princess. Not so good. Poor princess. She went a little overboard. Zip, zoop, zoom. 
Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer, called her teacher, royalty does not skateboard. Phooey. Viola let her boa fall to the floor. Sounds like princesses don't have any fun. Facts were facts. Viola's day at Camp Princess was nearly over and she was still a royal failure. But then... Uh-oh. Have you ever felt like poor princess? I have. Can't do anything right. But then... Arr! Help, cried Madame Gertrude. A big green dragon. Someone called Knight 1-1. Princesses ran here and there and everywhere in between. But Viola Louise Hassenpfeffer... Uh-oh. She's going to stare that dragon down. She's not afraid of a dragon. She was not an ordinary princess. She eyeballed that dragon and gave it the best karate chop she had. Hiya! The dragon stopped mid-puff. Princess Viola climbed to the top of the fountain and dove. Splash! The dragon sputtered. Princess Viola skateboarded in circles in lines and all around the room. Zip, zoom, zoom, until... Uh-oh. Dragon's not looking too healthy. Thunk! She took that dragon down. Princess Viola was a royal hero. The other princesses crowded around her. Well done, lovely. Princess Viola wasn't prim. She wasn't proper. But she was the darling of the kingdom anyway. She was just herself. That's the best way to be. Whenever you play yourself or be yourself, that's the best way that you can be. Because sometimes if you try to change because people want you to be something else, not going to work. We all have gifts and skills that God has given us. And we're supposed to use those. Now sometimes those gifts are in music. And sometimes they're in dance. And sometimes they're in getting rid of dragons. So I hope you enjoyed the story. I will see you right back here next week. We'll have services on Sunday morning, like we always do. I will see you then, but I will see you again also next Wednesday night at 6.30 for story time. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Much love.